Greetings. We, are the Guardian. Welcome to Night Vision. Hey man how you doing? How's life treating you? Better yet, how you treating life? As you can tell from my appearance, I've been down the road a ways. I've done some pretty bad things in my time, stuff I'm not real proud of. I've seen more than my share of the dark side than I'd like to recall. It was a pretty wild ride. I grew up in a normal Christian home, and my mom and dad were good people. They took us to church every Sunday. Those were the good old days. I used to have a good memory, so I did well in school. I could study for an hour, and ace any test they sent my way. I was like that from kindergarten, all the way to passing the bar exam in California. I became a well-known and well-paid defense attorney. When some dirtbag got caught with his pants down, or his hand in the cookie jar, they called me, to keep them out of jail. I knew every dirty trick in the book, and I used every one of them on a regular basis, to keep that revenue flowing. But somehow, I lost my way. I drifted away from my moral upbringing, and fell into a pit of immorality. I went from drinking to drugs, from Beverly Hills, to Skid Row. I was a train wreck in progress. Eventually, my mind began to slip, and I started screwing up some really big cases. I got in debt so bad, that I had to file bankruptcy. So I took my last few dollars, and bought a bus ticket back home to Illinois. I didn't even have enough money to get all the way home, so I got as far as Peoria, and started hitchhiking. Some young kid picked me up in a little yellow Fiat, and took me to the nearest truck stop. I smelled pretty bad by then, so I asked if I could keep the window down, even though it was snowing. What happened next is kind of a blur. All I remember is that young man laying his hand on me, and asking me my name. All of a sudden, another voice started coming out of my mouth, and I lost control. I was speaking with another voice, and I told him my name was Legion, for we are many. That boy then looked me in the eye, and started casting evil spirits out of me. That went on for several minutes, until I passed out. I came to a bit later, and woke up sobbing. I cried like a baby for quite some time. That young man just kept patting me on the back, reassuring me that it was going to be alright. He asked me to pray with him, and I did. I rededicated my life to the Lord, and a supernatural peace came over me like never before. We both went on into the truck stop, and ate breakfast. We talked for several hours, and before I knew it, the sun started to pop up. The young man said he had to go to work. He worked at a Christian radio station, and he had to be there at 6 a.m., to sign the station on the air. He offered me a ride, but I told him I needed to think for a while. As he drove off into the morning dawn, I slipped out the back door, because I was so embarrassed of my appearance, and I smelled like an outhouse. I stayed at the local mission for a couple days, and then called mom and dad. They came and got me, and I stayed with them for a couple weeks. But I had made so many new friends at the mission, that I decided to volunteer. That was 40 years ago. I am now the director of the outreach division, and my job is to process people just like me. I go around town and look for the lost, the abandoned, the wayfaring stranger. And I offer them a place to stay. I offer them a hot meal, and a warm bed. And I offer them hope. Just like that kid in the little yellow Fiat, I offer them Jesus. Peace be unto you and your house. Don't waste your life my friend. Life is far shorter than you can possibly imagine. Get things back on track. Don't go down the path I did, looking for fame and fortune. It's just an illusion. A dirty rotten filthy illusion. Give your life, back to your maker. Love God with your whole heart, mind, and strength. And then love your neighbor, as much as you love yourself. You can start by volunteering at your local mission. We need people like you. We ain't heavy, we're your brother. 